So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's now a few minutes past 11. I think some visitors will have a problem find our convention hall here. But we should start, I think. The ITB convention visitors, it's a great pleasure and honor to inaugurate the ITB Berlin Convention 2016. 2016 is a very special year for ITB. We are celebrating our fifth anniversary. Back in 1966, we started with nine exhibitors from five countries and 250 trade visitors. Even back then, a convention program was offered, but it consisted of only four hours in one auditorium. Ten years later, the program had extended to two full days. Today, the program takes place in nine different auditoriums during three full days, which makes for a total of 385 speakers this year. Listen to this quote from a press release. Since 1966, ITB, as a pioneer and leader in the tourism industry, has always been one step ahead. Visionary thinking and recognizing trends has been ITB's formula for success from day one. Let me give you five examples to show how accurate this statement is. First, in 1965, there is a letter in the archives of Messe Berlin stating how senseless a tourism trade show is, and there is absolutely no need for it. But nevertheless, the persistent management team was able to pull it off, and one year later the first ITB was born. Zu verwirklichen, ein Jahr später, fand es auch statt. Der große Erfolg der ITB heute als die, der in der Welt führende äh, Reisemesse zeigt, wie wichtig das visionäre Denken bereits damals war. Zweitens, 1981, da war die ITB wiederum ein Pionier bei der IT-Technologie. Sie haben, äh, wir haben BTX eingeführt, das interaktive Videotext-Informationssystem. Und erst zwei Jahre später wurde BTX äh, landesweit ausgerollt. Drittens, 1984 bewies die ITB, dass sie wiederum Impulsgeber für innovative Entwicklungen in anderen Bereichen For alternative tourism and accessible tourism products. That was long before our modern terminology and the megatrend sustainability. Fourth, in 2008, the explorer and innovator Bertrand Picard of Solar Impulse was our keynote speaker on the topic solar energy as a renewable energy source for aviation. Please remember, in 2007, the documentary An Inconvenient Truth by former U.S. presidential candidate Al Gore won two Oscars and is considered a breakthrough in global climate change debate. A year later, ITB as the first travel trade show addressed the topic of solar energy in the travel industry. And fifth, in 2016, ITB is the first global travel trade show to present the humanoid robot Shihira Kanai. And that leads us to this year's ITB convention. Now let's have a closer look at the ITB Berlin Convention 2016. Once again, we put together a very comprehensive con convention program. There are 3,085 speakers in more than 200 sessions. The convention takes place in nine convention halls over three days from Wednesday to Friday, respectively Saturday in case of the e-travel world. But it's not only size that matters, it's also quality that matters. So let's have a, cl let's have a closer look at the convention program. Our key topic this year is Travel 4.0, the digitalization of the travel industry. 26 top sessions, which are clearly labeled in the convention program with our digitalization logo. Plus all the sessions in the e-travel world, which are 80 sessions all in all. Altogether, we have 106 sessions. Therefore, one can say that we have a fairly large convention focusing on digitalization in the tourism industry. How did we come up with this key topic? We are currently experiencing the fourth industrial revolution, ladies and gentlemen. The two best-selling authors, Brynjolfsson and McAfee from MIT in the United States, put it even more blatantly. In their award-winning book, The Second Machine Age, they describe the groundbreaking structural transformation of economy and society by digitalization. You might wonder 
why there is an epochal structural change in the tourism industry today, especially since we've been using CRS, computer reservation systems, for marketing and distribution for 40 years. The reason is that all six ingredients for revolutionary change are now at hand. First, device distribution. Today, more than three billion smartphones are in use worldwide. Second, connection. More than three billion internet users worldwide. Third, powerful technical features like sensors, cameras, GPS positioning and many others exist. Fourth, computer performance. The processing power doubles every 18 months according to Moore's law. One of today's smartphones has more processing power than the computer that controlled the first moon landing. Here we are experiencing the massive force of an exponential function. Fifth, network bandwidth. 4G in many parts of the world exists. And six, cost. We see a drop of prices for devices, for data processing, storage and transmission. These ingredients create an explosive cocktail, like nitro and glycerin. The result is an explosion of possibilities. For the moment, at least, we can still dream in peace. Never again we will see progress as slow as we see it today. As with convention, conventional industry, which is currently experiencing the fourth industrial revolution, a new era is also beginning in the global travel industry. After the use of the internet and social media for marketing, communications and sales, the digital transformation of the entire company is now beginning. The related opportunities and challenges need to be actively managed to be able to survive competition with technology giants as well. It is particularly striking that now, for the first time, the product is becoming digital. For example, the automotive industry with self-driving cars. In the near future, cars will be more computer technology than gears and pistons. If not for nothing, that conventional, it's not for nothing that conventional automobile manufacturers have named Apple and Google as new contenders. Even the tourism product is becoming digital. Robots will be at airports and as concierge at hotel receptions. Hotels will hold concerts for their hotel guests with Oculus Rift check-in, room access, control of lighting, music and air conditioning in hotels will all happen via smartphone. Self-driving cars will bring tourists to their destination's preferred attractions. Destination experiences will be shaped digitally with augmented and virtual reality. And maybe virtual reality will replace a trip someday? Who can say this at this point? Coming back to the content of the whole convention. Our survey among convention delegates showed that there are four things that you look for in the convention program. Firstly, you as a convention visitor want to learn about current, industry-relevant hot topics. You want to experience the trends, you want to get innovative ideas, you want to take home real help for your everyday work. You greatly appreciate the best demonstrated practices, for example. Therefore, we spent many hours researching the latest trends and innovative concepts in the different sectors of our industry. So, accordingly, we have added a number of other convention topics to the agenda in addition to the digital, digitalization topics. I would like to list only three examples here. Tomorrow, for example, there will be a discussion on the pressing EU refugee issue in regard to tourist destinations. On Friday, the discussion is about the possibilities and the challenges associated with the integration of refugees into the tourism labor market. And also on Friday, we have the topic of tourism, terrorism and security on the agenda, an issue that is currently putting a strain on the industry. Secondly, brand new exclusive facts and figures from market research studies, free of charge, is it you are looking for. Therefore, we added a significant number of sessions presenting the latest research data to the program. Examples, among others, are IPK's World Travel Monitor, the International Travel Zoo Study on the Acceptance of Robots in International Tourism Markets, FUR's 
trend research data on happiness as a motivator for tourism, Euromonitor's updated international data on the sharing economy, and GFK's actual flight booking data looking at shifts in booking due to fear of terrorism and many more. Thirdly, you want to learn from the decision makers. Therefore, the majority of our speakers and panelists are in senior management positions. 50% of our speakers represent the top management level, CEOs, board members, managing directors, company founders and owners, ministers and state secretaries. That is quite an impressive number. Fourthly, you want to interact with others at ITB. You want to learn after and prior to ITB. Therefore, we have expanded our workshop program. We live stream many sessions, like this session, or are these sessions today. We upload video podcasts from convention sessions. We launched our first MOOC, Massive Open Online Course, in the internet. We offer webinars and many more. It's our ambition to have interactive convention sessions. As this is a tough challenge with 400 visitors in a big convention hall like this, we equip this auditorium and our ITB CSR Day auditorium with a real-time voting system. This gives us the chance to learn more about our opinions, your opinions, and to tailor the panel discussions according to your needs. Please use the real-time voting system when the moderator asks you to do. We will try it in a few minutes. There is another fact that deserves your attention. Nearly 50% of our speakers come from countries out other than Germany. Nearly one quarter originates from European countries, and nearly one quarter comes from international markets. This proves we are establishing a truly global convention, not just a convention focusing on Germany, although Germany is a very important source market for global tourism. Due to time constraints, I was only able to give you a brief overview of the convention program. Detailed information can be found online on the program walls all over the exhibition grounds, in the program booklet, and in ITB's mobile app. After the event, you can also find a video podcast of selected sessions on our website and on YouTube. All in all, we hope that the ITB convention will help you to prepare for current challenges and those to come. Over the years, we were quite successful in tackling the challenges our tourism industry is facing. The 1,000 journalists who attend last year, attended last year's convention are a testimony for the convention's relevance for the global tourism industry. We hope you come to the same conclusion, which would mean that all the hard work of the last nine months paid off. Now it is time to say thank you to our partners and sponsors supporting the ITB Berlin Convention. Without them, it wouldn't have been possible to offer you, ladies and gentlemen, such a comprehensive convention program. I would also like to use this opportunity to th say thank you to my convention managers, Alexandra Zales and Vanessa Schäfer. Without their hard work, I, as the convention director, would have been lost. We are also very thankful of our student team, consisting of 50 university students, mostly from Worms University of Applied Sciences, and a handful of students from Cooperative State University Lörrach. We are also very excited and proud about the long list of our partners and sponsors. Besides our media partner, hospitalityinside.com, there are Top Alliance, Studiosus, the MC Group, Toshiba, Trade Your Trip, and more than 30 further partners and sponsors supporting the ITB Berlin Convention and the e-travel world. Special thanks, ladies and gentlemen, goes to the Maldives as the ITB's partner country this year and to World Tourism Cities Federation, WTCF. WTCF is our co-host this year. Without WTCF, it would not have been possible to offer you, just like our state claims, claim states, expert knowledge included in your ITB Berlin ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to open the ITB Berlin Convention 2016.